Hi everyone, this is Eric from Dumb Game Dev, and today is day four and five. We're going to do them together in 30 days. 30 actions in 30 days, that's what we're calling it. So today's actions are about audio looping and starting audio from a specific uh, point in time. Now this again comes from the Playmaker forum, so I thought I would just jump in and get, try and see what I could do, and so I wrote two different actions to go with this. Now let's take a look at our actions list. The first one we're going to use is this called uh, Set Audio Start Time, and again you can download it from my GitHub account. And it does exactly what it sounds like it does. It starts audio from a specific point in time. Now you might want to use this because you want to save your audio at some point when you're playing and then play back from that specific point in time, or you might just want to manually set your audio from a specific point in time. And so we're going to do this. I'm just going to set up a uh, empty game object and I'm just going to call this uh, audio holder. It's going to hold my audio. Now I do want to add a component to this and that component is going to be a uh, audio an audio source. So right here we're going to set the audio clip that we want to play and I'm just going to use this one called battle theme. Now I don't want it to play on awake because we want the playmaker to trigger the audio, so we'll turn that off. Now right in the playmaker window I'm just going to add an FSM and under actions I can say set audio start time and it's as simple as this, you just set in the start time using a float or you could even use a float variable to do that. So if I wanted it um, say 10 seconds in so first I'll play just from zero so you can hear and then I'll move it to 10 seconds in. So let's see. Okay, so that's zero seconds in. So let's just play from say like 15 or 10 seconds in, whatever. And now you can see that it started at a different place. So it's a pretty straightforward action. You just set the time and it will start from there. Now, you the other action I, I've got, and let's just go straight into that. We'll remove this one. Let's just check under audio. The next one I have is called set audio loop time. And now what this one does is you can also set a start time just like before. So for example, I'll set it to 20. And this time you can also set an end time if you want it to end at a specific time. So I'll set this to, I don't know, like 22, so fairly fast. And then you can set a finished event. So I'll just create a new event and call this audio done. And you can call this whatever you want. And now I've got an audio done event and I'll just drag this over and call this finished. And you'll see once the audio clip is done, it will go to the next state. Let's give it a try. So it played just the two seconds of audio, and then it went to the next state. Now, if we wanted to loop this, an easy way to do this is we would just set up a bool, and maybe I'll do it on the first state, and I'll call this uh, maybe like set bool. Okay, set bool value, and I'll make a variable for it, and I'll call it do audio loop, and I want this to be true, so I want my audio to loop, so you could change this at different times in your game if you wanted to change the value of this bool, and in the next state, when we're finished, we're going to have a bool check. I think it's a bool check, not a bool test. Let's look. Bool test. Okay, bool test. So in the next state, we've got a bool test, and this will see if the bool is true or false. Okay. So do audio loop. If it's true, we want a new action called something like loop audio. And we'll have the loop audio go back to the first state and play the audio again. So it loops, right? Plays two seconds, checks, sees that our do audio loop is uh, set to true, and then it goes back and plays again. Now, if we want it to finish, we could call make another event called finish audio. And we will make this go over to a 
new state called something like, I don't know, no more audio. Okay, so I'm not gonna call this one finished anymore. Maybe I'll just call it um, loop check. Okay, so let's give this a try. So it should loop our audio. So there we go, it's looping our audio. And if we were to change this, so we set the bool to false and now we play. And it's gone to no more audio. So it's not gonna play audio anymore. Now, one of the questions that has come up is like, how do I pause my audio and start and stop and stuff like that? So we showed you how to start. You could start that way. You can um, stop your audio by calling an audio stop. It's fairly straightforward. You can also even uh, pause your audio with an audio pause. Now, how would I suggest that being done is I would do that on a um, on another FSM, not on the same FSM. So for example, let's just remove all this and let's not loop it. Let's just have it as a regular one and we'll have it play for, I don't know, from 20 to 50. And say we want to set up the ability to pause this with a key. So I'm going to set another FSM. So the first FSM I'm going to call like play audio. And the next, uh, another FSM here, you can do this any way you want. I just like to add a component and I'm gonna call this pause audio. I keep moving my head, my microphone's right in the way here. So pause audio is the next one. Let's edit this. And we'll use a key down for this. Key down, get key down. So when the, let's say, P for pause key goes down, it will pause the audio. So send event, new event, let's just call this pause. We can call this whatever we want. And I'll go to the next state. Oops, there we go. And it will have a pause, audio pause, okay and it'll use the owner because that's where we've got this audio playing from this audio source. So, P for pause, pause audio. Looks okay, let's give it a try and see what happens. Audio pause, pause audio. Okay. So it's playing, we should be able to hit P to pause. Okay. Okay, so now what if we want to unpause this audio? So it's gone into a pause state, but the only point of having pause is so we can unpause something. So I'm just on the pause audio FSM here. So in state one, it's waiting for a pause. So let's just call state one wait for P key, because that's what it's doing. Then it pauses in state two, so we'll call this pause audio. Then here we wanted to wait for the key down again, so let's get key down again. And we're gonna use the P key again, so we can just press it to pause and unpause. We're gonna send another event, let's call this unpause. And we'll go to the next state called play audio and in play audio of course we're going to play audio is our action and we don't have to change anything we just leave it as is okay and we're also gonna wait for a key down again oops not wait we want key down let's put this below our play audio event and once again, we'll wait for the P key. When the P key happens, we're going to, once again, pause our audio. So we'll go back to this state. So these two states will loop back and forth to each other, okay? The reason we go, don't go back to the first state is because we can't have a uh, pause or play audio when it goes into the start state. 
So let's try and see if this works. Pause, then P to unpause, and P one more time. So there we go, we have a pause and unpause button. We have a start and stop at a specific time. We also looked at a start at a specific time. Now there's even one more thing is we could choose a uh, start time. This would be a, a little more complicated, but if you go to the ecosystem, if you have this downloaded for Playmaker, there is a um, audio time. Let's search here. Let's see, there's a, a get audio time. So we could run the get audio time, save it to a float, and then use that float to set as the start time. So we could do that as well. But I have just typed it in here manually. Anyway, so those are my two events. We have the uh, set audio loop time and then the set audio start time. So this is Eric for Dumb Game Dev and hopefully this helped you to manage your audio a little bit more.